Hello and welcome to Camus Classics. Just a little introduction, I'm Cooper Mitchell and this is my dad Marv Mitchell and we run Camus Classics here in Camus, Utah. Hello and welcome to Camus Classics. Just a little introduction, I'm Cooper Mitchell and this is my dad Marv Mitchell and we run Camus Classics here in Camus, Utah. It's about a small town about 20 miles east of Park City, northern Utah. Um, kind of go over what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working on this. It's a 1968 Firebird 400, four speed. <music> If you would ask me last year if it was done, I would have told you yes. Uh, that was until I went to a show and we ended up running um, about 215 degrees, so it got a little overheated. Um, the exhaust leaks a little bit, and where we live, we can go in a uh, range of elevations from 2,000 feet to 10,000 feet in elevation. So. Um, it's currently carbureted, so what we're going to be doing on this one, we're going to do a full fuel injection system, uh, redo the cooling system, and redo the exhaust. Uh, possibly in the future, we'll do a five-speed conversion and replace the rear end. Um, when I got the car, somebody's put a seven and a half ten bolt in it, which just isn't going to handle the power that this thing has. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing with this car. Okay, so here's project number two. It's a 1966 Oldsmobile 442. Um, 400 engine, four speed transmission, dual exhaust. This one's kind of a big major project. It's gonna take a little while. Uh, we've got the front end of it done. It's painted. Um, we've still got uh, doing minor rust repairs. The big one's going to be we're going to do the trunk the trunk floors out of it um, we're going to be redoing the floor in it uh, one piece full floor uh, we'll show you all that if you want to follow me as you can see the floors kind of gone and back here we've got Back here we've got uh, the entire trunk floor out of it. Um, we're pretty close to getting ready to put this back in. Uh, we were holding off on doing that until we got this piece in just for the simple fact it's easier to stand on the floor than kneel in the trunk or try and do it through the back window or try and go up over the car. Uh, where we had that already out, we just or had to take that out because of, due to rust concerns. Um, we figured it was easiest just to leave it out and do this piece, do the wings, um, the rust repair on those. This one you're going to see more of the major stuff we're doing, um, the minor uh, rust repair. Dad's retired so he has time during the day to come do minor rust repair on it. So we're not going to be able to show you all that because we don't have a camera at the time. but. Uh, we will show you a lot of the major stuff when we go to put the engine in, when we um, when we finish the engine, paint it, get it ready to go, uh, put the trunk floor in, put the floorboard in, um, do, do a lot of the body work on it. We can show all that. And uh, also we will be doing the upholst most of the upholstery on this one ourselves. Um, so we'll show you that as well. And then right here, kind of hard to see, kind of the catch-all at the moment is project number three. This one will be, um, we'll jump on this one as well as soon as we finish the Firebird. This one is a 1955 Chevrolet 3100 half-ton short bed. This is the original chassis. We have done a lot of work 
as to boxing the frame, putting it in so it's got uh, coilover independent front suspension, um, removed all the cross members, put tubular cross members in, and this one's also going to be fuel injected. Um, so we've built the back half of it. Uh, we're going to move the gas tank out of the cab, put it in the back. The one thing is we are going to build the front end as a 1957 because this one is mine and I prefer the 57 grill over the 55-56 grills. So we will be doing the front end as a 57 but it is a 1955 Chevy 3100 series pickup. Second generation. Well, I want to introduce you to Slothy. He's ready for Christmas as you can see. Um, he's kind of our company mascot here. Um, basically what we use him for is uh, he sits in our cars at the car shows, um, kind of gives the kids a little bit of entertainment as well as people just like him. Um, we hope you're enjoying our channel. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.